the question here is if we allow for back order does the order quantity get smaller or larger what about t what about total relevant cost okay so imagine i have a basic eoq that does not allow for back orders now if i suddenly you know the the, the ceo says okay now we are going to allow for back orders what is going to happen to my order quantity does it increase or decrease think about it for a few seconds also what happens to my uh time periods my cycle time okay does it increase or decrease and also does my cost go up and down and this is a very very um, important question if you are able to solve that that means you have a very good understanding of the whole um uh, me uh, mechanics of inventory management here okay so think a few seconds about that and i also have the formulas there for you so this should also be very helpful okay so let's see let's start with q uh, just looking at the formula i see that q star of plan back order model is uh, q star of eoq times uh, square root of one over cr or critical ratio okay critical ratio if you remember was some value between zero and one okay so when that's in denominator um, it will make the final value bigger because one over a value that's less than one is going to be a value that's bigger than one okay we can simply replace 0.9 uh, for cr and see what happens okay a square root of a value that's bigger than one is still going to be bigger than one okay again you can verify that by uh by a number okay so q star times a bigger uh, something that's bigger than one is going to increase our order quantity okay so basically if you allow for back order <clears throat> you will order bigger uh bigger lots okay if you order bigger lots, <clears throat> they will last longer too, right? Uh, because I, I, we haven't said anything changes with the demand. So demand is stable, you're just ordering more, it will last longer too. So your T will go up as well. Uh, you can also verify that by the formula. So T is just Q divided by D. If Q goes up, T goes up too, all right? Now, uh, what happens to total relevant cost? And this is a very uh, hard question to answer from the formula. You know, on the formula, you have, for example, in the middle, you see Q minus B, right? Q goes, as I, I just said, Q goes up in the plan back order model. You also have B, which is my back order amount, which is a positive value. So which one is bigger? Both of them are increasing. Uh, we don't know which way it will go at the end, but we can infer it from uh just the logic okay imagine uh, previously ceo was telling me hey you're not allowed to allow any back order and then the cost i realized was let's say one thousand dollars okay today the ceo tells me you can allow for back order but it's your choice i just i'm just letting you do it uh if it helps okay when i model that problem and minimize cost the total cost that comes out of it should not be any worse than EOQ. Why is that? Because I'm just giving my mathematical model more flexibility, more freedom to search for better answers. Okay, so it should never get worse. If it's worse, it will just set our uh, back order level to zero and would say that, okay, even though you can use any back order, back orders are not economical right now. So zero back order will be chosen. So anyways, the model will adjust itself. So it's never worse. If anything, it will, it will get better because now you have the option, you have more options. Uh, if the cost of back order is not too much, you can allow for a little back order and, and save uh, some money there. Okay. So the, so total relevant cost should stay the same or go up okay if you if you have that if you have a lot of time and a lot of patience and a lot of mathematical skills you can uh, replace all the new q and new b in that formula and and verify it yourself but i'm just giving you a simpler logical explanation whenever you allow your model more flexibility you give yourself more options you can't be worse
Okay. Uh, 